Welcome to lap two, guys. Uh, this is the one where the wheels really started to come off. I figured I had the measure of the trail this time. I was going to push a little bit harder, and that worked well for about two minutes. I've pared it down to just the low lights, uh, which are very entertaining and kind of humiliating. You can see at the beginning here, it's flowing pretty well. Um, uh, I'm opening up the gas a little more moving along nicely, but it uh, doesn't really last for long. This section here is all steadily uphill, which helps me a lot because it takes weight off the front and gives me more confidence in the front. I usually lack confidence in the front because my body position is wrong, but uh, you can see here the puddles, I should know by now that some of them are pretty deep, and it starts getting exciting right about here, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, that's a foot all the way in the water. I jump off immediately because it's super deep. <laughs> you can see the back wheel is almost buried to the axle. Yeah, I don't know why I took that line and got stuck there every time. Not that smart, I guess. Didn't work too well. The good news, if there is any, is that all my wipeouts have finally given me a chance to get a little footage of Rich out in the mud on his 250 TPI. Great bike. I just got the suspension redone by factory connection, and this isn't really the greatest ride to test it, but he tells me it's fantastic. Rich is quite a bit taller than I am, or at least in my mind he is. I definitely think his legs are longer, and you can see in sections like this, it really helps. You can just get those feet out just a little more quickly than I can, which is one of the reasons I was drawn to the beta, the lower seat height. Just an inch can make a big difference. up here at one of the many sections where I turned into the side of the rut the last time around, right by this tree up here on the left. Let's see if I do exactly the same thing again. Well, I killed my momentum. That doesn't help. And I, uh, okay, looks like I got through clean that time, but uh, I've lost Rich. Let's see if I can catch him. Ah, I have caught him because he has stopped moving. times that I fall on that stupid thing. <clears throat> Why do I always go first? What the fuck is that? Uh, I kid around about it, but actually I'm happy to go first. Uh, not the end of the world. Let me get back underway here, and coming up pretty soon, I think we have another example of me not learning the lesson. I get into a uh, rut and try to turn out of it, with obvious consequences, right about here. Yeah, you can see um, I was in that wheel track and started to turn out of it to avoid the water, but turning out of it meant turning up the face of, uh, of the burn, of the rut, and that just puts you right on your ass. I I'm figuring it out, slowly. Now, you may have heard me mention that I've been practicing on the trials bike, and that's important for a section coming up, but to really appreciate it, first, we have to take a short flashback to my yard. Oh, 
that's a, is that the big one? Yeah, that's a big. So this thing is like the pride of the setup. These three giant logs I've put up in the yard, and here we go. I cannot believe I made this in slow motion, just to totally enjoy it. Oh, holy shit! Well, that was bad. Alright, basically, put it in the garage now, I'm fucking done. Alright, so we know I can do it. I have the skills, I have honed them. I just have to put them in practice on the trail. Here we go. Sad. It makes me to watch this. Exact same place I stopped last time. Because I'm stupid. stuff like that and you think, of course he's going to ride forever. Why would he ever quit? So Rich has the button I have the button too, mine's broken, and I'm stuck here. I just put my foot completely underwater, and I'm kicking this stupid bike, which by reputation is the easiest bike to kickstart in all the world. <laughs> it's so bad, can't believe it. So catch up to Rich again, and of course I'm not going to stop, because I'm not going to turn my bike off. And he knows better than to talk to me, because I'm out of my mind right now. <laughs> I mean, I have to show these, right? It's so bad, I can't believe it. But it, it has to be seen. Oh, look at my foot. It's soaked. Totally wet. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Now I'm, I'm trying to work out that I can't kickstart the thing because it's tipping over to the left. So I have to get off and kickstart it from the right just to get the thing going. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I'm glad this is in the past. Hopefully it's not in my future. <laughs> Have I even ridden like 50 feet <laughs> since the last one? Meanwhile, Rich is just like cruising through. <laughs> it's, it's so hard. It's hard to watch, but just being there, heart rate is pegged. The front wheel is, I mean, it's like in cement or something. Oh, it's bad. Me too. I don't know, is this like watching one of those, is it like a snuff video or some kind of torture film? You just hear me panting and 
suffering. Oh, suffering. Okay, so sweet relief, I get the thing running again, it's out of the mud, but joke is on me because right up there is actually the hardest part of the whole loop, where my bike will immediately go 22 inches underwater. <laughs> it's kind of funny, in retrospect. You're on the hold on, wait. So again, I suppose the silver lining of all this is uh, Rich takes pity on me and goes first. So we have a little footage of him here, uh, standing, some sitting, he's got the legs out, and making good progress. I keep up with him for a while, let's see what happens. Like after all you've seen, uh, you can imagine the risk-reward calculus changes and my riding becomes really conservative. I, I just don't want to dump it again. Um, I'm exhausted. My motor skills are not what they should be. Uh, you know, the usual. So somehow I've managed to uh, make it in front of Rich. I don't know what happened somewhere along the trail, I can't remember. But this is that uh, little transfer section. Wait for him to come ripping along. Okay, he's ready, I'm ready. This part uh, looks fun and easy. Um, it's pretty fast, but some of these rocks are really big. And uh, so, of course, you know, that scares me. But uh, I think we had a pretty smooth trip through here. We'll be back in the woods in just a second. This being the age of COVID-19, there were plenty of people out who were very polite, went nice and slow, Thank you. to the guy with the handsome dog and his wife. Most people were wearing masks, not everybody. Lots of social distancing and a few dirty looks, but not too many. I guess not, not any more than usual. This one's kind of interesting. It, it seems like I, I just sort of gave up right in the middle of the ride. Just kind of, yep, I'm just getting off. <clears throat> you had heart attack, Ray? Not according to this, but it can't be right. <clears throat> it says I'm warming up. At least we don't sleep good tonight. Oh yeah. Which way? Left? Or right? Right. Straight? <laughs> Straight, yeah. Never let them take your sense of humor. It actually was a really fun ride. It was good to see Rich again. I hadn't seen him in months. We were supposed to go on a riding trip down to North Carolina. We had to bag out on that because of COVID-19. Trails are finally open, and even though it's mud season, uh, we're gonna get out there as much as possible. It's healthy to be out there. It feels really good, even a day of unmitigated suffering like this. This last little wood section I put in here, it's the end of our ride. I had to include it to prove that I did not burn my bike uh, or leave the woods on foot crying finished it out strong. Really enjoy this part uh, of Franklin. Next time out, we will be in Foxborough, which is one of my favorite places to ride. 
very tricky, uh, very technical, lots of rocks, and I hope some good footage for you guys. This part, one of my favorites uh, of this particular day of riding. There's a really rocky section, which uh, over the years has always really frustrated me. But now, right here, I'm on the gas, I'm rolling through here with good speed, floating over all this stuff, letting the suspension do its work, and this is how it's supposed to happen. And uh, it was encouraging to me. Just stay on the gas. Of course, I could probably be going twice as fast, but progress. And that, mercifully, is the end of our ride. Stay safe, guys. Can't wait to see you all in person. Take care.